Hey everybody, welcome back to the haul video portion of A Week in Geekdom. Today we're going to be talking about all the geeky stuff I acquired throughout the month of September. An interesting month, my birthday month. I went a little wild getting some random items that you'll see in this video. Also some things that were gifts did not arrive, so you'll see them later. Kind of works like that. All right, let's begin with some manga goodness. Here we have Die Dark Volume 2. I pre-ordered this before release date and they were short on stock, I guess, so I never got it. And I had to wait, I think, a full month for them to restock at Right Stuff, which kind of defeats the purpose of pre-ordering, but whatever. Uh, next up here we have the third deluxe edition of Blade of the Immortal and now that I have three of these bad boys I can uh, get my reading on when it comes to Blade of the Immortal. I was waiting for this one to have a, a good chunk of material to uh, sink my teeth into. And here we have the final volume of Demon Slayer, volume 23. I'm not going to show anything from the inside. I don't want to spoil it for you guys if you've never read it or if you're reading it. It wouldn't be proper for me to spoil uh, Demon Slayer just like that. But I really enjoyed it and I am uh, uploading very soon a, a review video on it. So look out for that. Okay, so here we have an epic haul when it comes to Shigeru Mizuki. So this is the second volume of Kitaro. But the art, as always, looks impeccable, looks amazing. I love it so much. And just the artistry involved and the significance of the story and what Mizuki did and, and revolutionizing uh, storytelling, not just for kids, but for all ages with his yokai interpretations and stories and all that stuff. I, I just had to have it as part of my collection. So that's volume two followed by volume three, volume four, five, six, and volume seven. So yeah, I went ahead and picked up everything in one swoop uh, so I can do a proper uh, read through without having to worry about ordering more volumes and waiting for them to arrive. I do know there are chapters missing and I am actually missing the oversized or the deluxe edition Kitaro book from uh, the same publisher, uh, Drawn in Quarterly. That is out of print and I missed the train on that one. So I'm actively looking for that. Excited to get my hands on it eventually. But for now, these uh, seven volumes will suffice. I love the spine designs. They look really cool. And just, yeah, getting to uh, uh, read the Kitaro adventures is a delight and a treat in 2021. Speaking of delight, one of the most important works from Japan got adapted into a manga by, of course, Shigeru Mizuki. This is Tono Monogatari. I still haven't cracked it open yet, but looking at the drawings here and the visuals, this just looks amazing, stunning detail, really wonderful facial expressions. I can't wait to do a proper reading of this and, and make a video for you guys. I am upgrading my Berserk volumes to the Deluxe Edition, so here we have Volume 8 of Berserk with wonderful art, as usual, from the late, awesome, epic Kentaro Miura, as well as the posters, which I did not know we were going to get posters. That is really awesome. Good for, good for Dark Horse. That is really cool. They look stunning. I'm probably not going to take them out, but it's really nice to see that attention to detail from the North American publishing side of things. And just like with uh, Kitaro, I <laughs> went ahead and got everything that I was missing from Vinland Saga. Well, actually, as of this recording, I'm missing the latest volume, which would be volume 12 of the deluxe hardcovers from Kodansha. Um, I've only read the first four, which corresponds to the first season of the anime. So I don't really know what I am looking at. Um, I'm looking forward to all these adventures and hopefully talking about it with you guys on this channel. So yeah, more Vinland Saga. Here we have volume 18 of Dr. Stone. As of this video, it is currently entering its final arc, so I'm excited to see what happens. Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess volume 9. I heard this uh, manga was ending. I don't know if it's going to be like two or three more volumes, but I'm excited. Um, I love the game and just seeing the art represented in this format is awesome. Here we have My Hero Academia Volume 29. I desperately need to catch up. I think the last one I read as of this video was 
volume 23. So yeah, I'm a little behind on all things My Hero Academia, but this looks really cool. Beastars volume 14 with the awesome Yaya in the cover right here. Really interested to see where the plot is going. I really enjoyed volume 13 or volume 12 and 13. Those were some of my favorites. It opens up so many possibilities and the world building aspect of Beastars that I, I really appreciated that. Maison Ikoku, Collector's Edition, Volume 5. I said I was going to read this a while ago, and I haven't started, but I got five volumes in, so I might as well start reading, right? Just one graphic novel. Here we have Kill Six Billion Demons, Volume 4. I really enjoy this indie comic. Uh, you can read it online for free. I just wanted to support the physical releases. Um, so if you want to check out my overall impressions and thoughts on the first volume, I have a video on the channel. I'm going to link it at the end of this whole video. So yeah. Time for some anime goodness. I wanted to pick up some yokai themed movies, stuff I haven't watched yet. Here is A Letter to Momo. Uh, looking forward to it. Sounds really interesting. And of course, uh, really uh, creative uh, character designs right there. Here we have Fate Stay Night, Heaven's Feel, uh, part three, Spring Song. This is the end of Heaven's Feel, the route, the third route from the original Fate Stay Night. And it's an Aniplex release. I don't support them anymore, but I, I had the previous two, so I had to complete the set, I guess. And for such an expensive movie, it really sucks that you get a broken uh, jewel case. Nice, nice going there, uh, guys. Uh, here are some shots of the three movies all together with the spines and the front covers and my Fate collection. I completed the original Fate uh, series. I don't really care for the spin-offs or the, you know, Apocrypha and Grand Order and all that stuff. I'm just, I'm good with the, the original series. Continuing on with the haul, and I've uh, got some live action Blu-rays for you guys. Here we have Howl from Beyond the Fog from Daisuke Sato. Now the thing is, I remember this being a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo or something like that. It was a crowdfunded uh, thing and it sold out. I think it was like a thousand something copies on Blu-ray, uh, but it did so well and people showed interest and, and they wanted more. So they did one more uh, reprint and that's where I come in. So this is the second printing that I got. Uh, really interesting. I love that it's made with puppetry and it's a, uh, it's a kaiju movie technically. So hell yeah, I'm gonna add it to my collection. And uh, that cool Matt Frank cover art looks awesome. And it came with a poster, which you're seeing here. And it looks really cool as well. Speaking of kaiju, I forgot I needed this. Here is the host. So my idea is to build uh, like an essential uh, 101 shelf of kaiju movies, not just Toho and Godzilla, but other monsters from other um, countries and their movies and all that stuff. And this is one that I really wanted to add, uh, sort of to boost my uh, Korean uh, repertoire on my shelf. Zeram 2, I'm a big fan of the show. I remember the anime back in the day and this was on sale, couldn't pass it up. It sucks that we don't have the first one on Blu-ray. I think the, I think they're working on it to free that license up to get a, a Blu-ray release. So I'll be uh, happy to get that when it's out. And something that I've been wanting to get for two, ever since they made the announcement back in the summer of 2019, I wanted this set and I got it as a birthday gift. So here is the Criterion Collection, the Showa era Godzilla set. I know it's nothing new, it's been out for a while, but I finally got it. I finally got enough cash to uh, get it. And obviously I took advantage of the summer sale. And for some reason it's still on sale. Uh, maybe they just want to get rid of it. And I went ahead and ordered it from Amazon half off. So that was exciting. So yeah, continuing on with the uh, movie portion or movie haul, I got Matango. Essentially, I am going after a complete Toho monster horror sci-fi set from 
uh, early 60s and 70s. So I had to get Matango, um, you know, classic <laughs> beloved horror movie, if you like weird mushroom people. Followed by Atragon, which had the first appearance of Manda, a very famous serpentine kaiju. And I'm really excited about that. I also got Frankenstein Conquers the World Franken or Frankenstein vs. Baragon. I am missing War of the Gargantuas. That's expensive. <laughs> and I am missing uh, Space Amoeba, Varen, um, and two others I can't remember right now. Uh, they're not terribly expensive, unlike uh, Gargantuas, but they're not cheap either. That's why I haven't gotten them yet. But all in due time. And finally, folks, video games. Just two copies here today on this haul. We got for GameCube, a game that I've always wanted to own. I've played it before, but I never owned it. It is the first uh, Beautiful Joe. I could have waited because I know that some people are wishing we get the trilogy on Switch, but I, I just wanted to own the GameCube game because GameCube's awesome, uh, one of my favorite systems. So yeah, went ahead and picked it up. And to finish things off, we got a Switch game here. Uh, this is Pokémon Tournament DX. I have to give a massive shout out to my buddy Sequential Consequence here on YouTube. Uh, he was really kind enough to surprise me with this gift, uh, which happily coincided with my birthday. So I'm like, hey, I'll take it. <laughs> Happy birthday, right? Um, uh, so thank you so much, buddy. Uh, this this means a lot, and I'm a huge Pokémon fan. It's uh, my favorite video game franchise after Metroid and I never played the original version for the Wii U so now I am happy to own this for the Switch and I'm going to play it I don't know maybe I'll stream some of it maybe not who knows but I'm gonna play it it looks awesome can't wait to uh, try that out so that's it everybody that's the haul for September 2021 an interesting one so thank you everybody thank you for subscribing being a part of we can geek them for liking commenting all that fun stuff if you want me to review anything from this haul video let me know in the comments section down below all right I gotta go thank you everybody for tuning in stay safe and god bless catch you guys on the next video